Colton Kainz remembers the first time his mental health needed urgent addressing. It was 2019, and as a redshirt sophomore for the Montana Grizzlies, Kainz required help. I knew that I needed some help, and I needed it soon. So I stepped aside, I stepped back, and I I admitted myself to, to the Providence Health Center to get some help. I was in there for a week. Everybody was super supportive during that time. My teammates were there, a few of them even visited me, but that was part of the reason why I went to Providence was because I couldn't get out of my own head and it was doing a number on me. It was taking a huge toll. It was a big step Kainz needed to take action for his anxiety, something he says he's dealt with for all of his life. But that anxiety again came to a head this season, and Kainz realized he needed to step away from football to focus on himself. So he recently retired from college football and left the Grizzlies. I was starting to get worried that I couldn't be helped because I had been dealing with this for so long and, I, and I'm still dealing with it. And sometimes there's that nagging feeling like oh, I'm beyond help. Like I, I'm just a lost cause in terms of getting help with my anxiety and depression and just finding a way to combat it. And, and that's a scary feeling. Kynes has been a multi-year starter for the Grizzlies on the offensive line and recently earned the starting right guard spot this year for UM and appeared in the first three games. But it was after UM's game against Cal Poly, where the Missoula native and Big Sky grad knew he needed to start seriously considering stepping away from the game he loved to prioritize himself to help his mental health. When I started suiting up for game days and my head was just completely somewhere else mentally, that was really what pushed me over the edge and I was like, okay, I need to think about this. But I just didn't feel like I was myself for a lot of the time that I was playing. I felt like I was putting on a mask, I was pretending I was okay when I really could have used help and that just took so much of a toll on me, putting that mask on. Mental health is an ever-growing topic among athletes. NBA All-Stars Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan were early voices about the issue while lately, some of the most recognizable names in sports have begun to step forward from all-time gymnast great Simone Biles this past summer, tennis star Naomi Osaka, and swimming legend Michael Phelps. According to the American College of Sports Medicine in Indianapolis, 30% of female and 25% of male college student athletes suffer from anxiety, with only about 10% seeking help. In the professional sports world, that number is up to 35% of athletes who deal with a range of mental health issues from anxiety, depression, and more. Kynes said the biggest step to take is talking about it and continuing the conversation. I think the most important thing that we can do to spread awareness for mental health in athletes is to spread awareness for it. I think that being open about it, talking about it, and not hiding behind these masks or pretending everything is okay, I think that that is the biggest thing we can do for it. Too many people are suffering in silence. They're hidden behind this stigma that athletes are kind of, they're tough, they put up with everything, and they don't seem phased by anything. Kynes knows it's something he'll deal with to some degree for the rest of his life, but he also knows he's not alone in his battle. No matter how much or how good you are at your sport, these things are temporary. You know, whether you play for a year, a month, or, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, at some point you won't be playing sports anymore, but you will be around. The most important thing anyone can do is be here, and that takes precedence over any sport that they play any day. I mean, whether it's high school football or the Olympics, it's not as important as you being here. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.